This is a video on how to replace the, the spindle bearing in the mower deck on the John Deere L111 automatic. I couldn't find anything on YouTube to help me do this, so I'm making one myself. I already got this thing jacked up, and I got the mowing deck out of it. And I got the spindle in the workshop. And we're going to... I'm going to show you how to uh, take it apart. Alright, here's the spindle already out of the mowing deck. It's just a matter of getting the mowing deck off, the bolts out, and getting this off. This is this will take a 7-8 socket to get that nut off that holds the pulley on, and then you just take the pulley right off. And then the bolts that hold these in, in the deck itself, they're 10 millimeter. They're not 3 8 This thing was making a rumbling noise. As you can see, it's pretty loose. I've already gotten it loosened up here for ease to take it apart to show you guys how to do it. Taking one of these apart is actually easier than it looks. You get this and put it in the vise just like that so it's in there like that and these are resting on the vise and you take your rubber mallet because you don't want to you don't want to beat on this thing and screw it all up and you want to make sure you put that on there you don't want to screw your bolt up take your rubber mallet and tap it down there like that and it'll come loose on the bottom just like that. And take your nut back off. You take this collar off. That's you have, might have to tap it a little bit more to get that all the way off. And then just take <clears throat> the housing and Sometimes you'll have to tap it, sometimes you won't. I've already uh, pre-sprayed this with WD-40 and everything. So just, you take it off. That's the inside of the housing. Hopefully I can uh, reuse it. It looks pretty beat up in the in inside there. Because this is what I found. This bearing is like wrecked. Nothing left of it. And then the uh, spindle's kind of messed up too. Well, you have this collar on here. You put some WD-40 on, on it and work it off, maybe. Yep. Yep, I'm going to try a pipe wrench first. See how that works. Oh, there we go. Got her loose. out. Yeah, spray it some more. Wipe it off. Yeah. No, that part there looks pretty good. Alright, now we got got to put the new bearing on. Only go and get original John Deere parts. So I got bangs this morning. And that's what it looks like, the new ones. These are sealed bearings. The ones I got last time were open bearings, and I knew they weren't going to last very long. So I'm going to put these on here and, and see how it, how it works. Now we'll go ahead and install this thing while the metal's still a little bit hot and expanded.
There, that was easy enough. All right, I got the uh, bolts all cleaned out there. They're about to kick my ass, but I got them drilled through and re-tapped, and I got the the other two bolt holes uh, cleaned out with the tap. And uh, now I want to try and uh, put in a grease fitting in this tower here. Now. Since I'm putting in uh, closed bearings, uh, I'm going to skip the grease fitting part of it and just put it all back together. Now for some reason, if this uh, shaft is damaged or anything like that, if you have to replace it, um, that's pretty easy to come out. It's uh, I actually got a head on it right there and all you have to do is kind of tap on it. Now if you have to take this shaft off for any reason, uh, if it's damaged or if this is damaged, this comes apart like this, you um, tap it and that bolt comes off like that. Okay. I've had to replace that once before because I broke it, being a dumbass. Alright, and then there's that piece there. Right, so set the bearing on there. And then put that back on there. That being boogered up is not really going to hurt anything. <coughs> Get our spindle housing here. Slide it down over top and go that bearing other bearing goes right on there and then put that back on there. Alright, now you got that top on there, now you want to smack that back down on top and this is where your socket doohickey will come in handy. So you just uh put that on top there and give it a few whacks with a rubber hammer or a rubber mallet and uh, set everything back in place and that's kind of what that's what keeps uh, all this stuff together all right everything's tapped in place yeah everything's held together spinning freely with the brand new bearings in there okay and so it's ready to put back on the mower. Alright, I got the uh, spindle installed back on there. Got the pulley installed. And all I got to do is put the nut back on. if you have an air gun. And it also helps if you've taken the time to make this homemade spanner wrench, which I made myself out of an old, just an old cheap wrench. Cut it out, welded it together. Works really well. All right, now she's ready to go back on the lawnmower. And that's it. Time to change it up. And <clears throat> as an extra note, if you haven't changed your bearings in a while, um, yeah, you're going to run into bolts snapping off and you know just stuff being screwed up. So be prepared to uh, do this early in the morning on Saturday if you you know you work all week. You know, do it early Saturday, so before the John Deere place closes, like ours closes here at 12, so, and it's a long way, so, 
just make sure you have all your parts and stuff, which I, I lucked out this time. I didn't break too much stuff. I scavenged a bolt from over here to put down in here. So I got three bolts holding this together. And I'll go back to the John Deere place and get another replacement bolt or a couple replacement bolts. Alright, this ends the video. Thanks for watching.